Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea where we talk about all things glam and all things girly. I'm a beauty consultant and today we are talking about my January beauty favorites. And we got some good favorites going on over here. So, so excited to share with you those products. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly do appreciate it. And if you are new, welcome. I would love for you to consider subscribing down below, joining the Glam Girl Squad, because we'd love to have you. And let's get right into this video. Okay, so let's start off with some skincare. This product is not new to me. I have actually had it multiple times since I first tried it, but I recently did receive it from the brand, and I was like, oh, this I might comfortably coin, in my opinion, the best and my most favorite facial wash. And let's continue on with this long soliloquy of an introduction. <laughs> I am not committed to facial washes. Like I'm not somebody who's like, I only use this one and that's it. I'm always trying new facial washes, but I keep coming back to this one and I'm like, you might be the best one I've ever tried that works so well with my skin. The Shantakai, this is the Rice and Geranium Foaming Cleanser. So the reasons why I love this cleanser is that you literally need a pea size, like the tiniest bit goes a very long way. I love the way it foams and it is so moisturizing and hydrating to the skin. It never strips to my skin and I always feel like after I wash my face, my skin feels softer than before I wash my face. In addition to that, it does have little tiny gentle very gentle exfoliating beads within the cleanser but because they're so gentle you do not feel like your skin ever feels stripped or irritated because you're using it day or night this cleanser is amazing it lasts me a very long time a few months because i literally only need like a pea size like let me show you i'll just put a little bit on like if i'm not wearing any makeup this is legit all i'm using if i'm using like if i'm taking my makeup off i'll use a bit more but i usually just use the tiniest bit this actually does do well for cleansing your face from makeup. So I always go in with a makeup remover because I just prefer to do that. But I'll go in with this cleanser and every bit of makeup is off my face. My face is completely clean, but it doesn't feel tight and stripped. I highly recommend this if you've never tried it and you're looking for a really good, luxurious cleanser, this one is amazing. Okay, some other skincare that we're gonna talk about. These are some body care products. They're all affordable and I just really love them. So thank you to Gabe Loves Makeup. He was the first person that I heard talking about this. This is the Dove Moisture Boost Pre-Cleanse Shower Butter. Shower Butter. I was like, what do they call this? So they've got a few different ones of these, a couple of them. I chose the one um, that's gonna hydrate the skin and it's a pre-cleanse. So like if you just want a, a nice little, you know, Spend a little quality time in the shower. Take your time washing yourself because you're not rushing to get out the shower. This is great. First of all, it smells really, really good. It smells very fresh, like it's something that you would want to wake up to. This is what the texture looks like on the inside. And essentially what you do is before you rinse yourself off in the morning, so like if you jump in the shower, I'll, I'll just tell you what I do. Get in the shower, I'll put this on immediately, and then I'll rinse it off. Then you go in with your body wash, wash yourself, and you're done. So like nothing necessary at all, but it definitely does help my skin to feel more hydrated. My skin feels more soft after using the pre-cleanse versus just going in with my cleanser. And then something else that I like to do afterwards is going in with this body conditioner by Olay. I know I've talked about this on my channel because I've been using this now for almost two years. They have one for the daytime and one for the nighttime. This is the one for the nighttime and this one has retinol in it and it smells like, it smells a little, it has like a lavender scent to it. I love lavender so this makes me happy. So after I wash my body, I'll go in with this you just put it on and then you immediately rinse it off. And like you can see like a thin layer of just sheen and hydrated skin. My skin feels so soft, especially using both of these in conjunction with my cleanser. So I really do like using these because like I said, if I have a little extra time and I'm not rushing in the morning, like it just makes you feel good to make sure that my skin is really nice and soft. And with this Olay body conditioner, um, especially if I don't feel like putting on lotion, because I'll admit sometimes I, I just don't feel like it. This will hold me over. Now this is not gonna keep my, 
my skin moisturize all day. But if it's one of those things where it's like, okay, I'm taking a shower, I'm getting right into bed, I don't feel like putting on a lotion, this actually will do the job for me, at least for me, where I feel like my skin feels soft and then I can put my PJs on and you know be done with the night. So I really enjoy both those products. I've already re repurchased this um, once, so this is my second container. And I can't even tell you how many times I've purchased this one. I've tried both the day and the night scents and I and I will buy both of them. My favorite though is the night scents just because I love lavender. So Dime Beauty, if, if um, you've never heard of Dime Beauty, I have really grown to love Dime Beauty. They are a clean beauty brand. They specialize in skincare, but they also have fragrance and then they just started making some color products. They have lipsticks. I think lips are the only color products that they have. But their skincare is amazing. Amazing. So some of my favorite products that I've already talked about before is their Hyperglow Serum. That's like their vitamin C serum. Um, their HA Serum. Love that one. I actually have the Hyaluronic Acid Serum and the Hyperglow Serum on the way. I already ordered them because I ran out. Love to use them. I have like one, two, three, three or four of their fragrances. They're all beautiful, non-alcohol-based non fragrances, and they smell really great, last well on the skin. So this is their newest product. This is the Glaze Hydrating Body Oil. So I purchased this because I love me a good body oil. So like using, you know, all the great cleansers in the shower, like I wanna add the body oil to it so I can have really nice, soft, supple skin. So this one is uh, formulated with Meadow Foam and jojoba and it says this is infused with highly nutritious oils this body oil is the body's best friend to effectively hydrate the many thick layers of skin it says this oil is rich with antioxidants anti-inflammatory and rejuvenating properties they are essential to properly nourish the skin's barrier lipids to retain moisture and prevent trans epidermal water loss and so it can be used um which can cause dry patches, irritation, redness, and other skin concerns. So this is a thicker oil, which I do like. So just giving you a rough look as to how it looks on the skin. So, and it smells like, um, it smells a little earthy, but like not too earthy to where it might be like, oh, it smells like grass. It just smells like, smells like a, uh, if I could say like a natural oil to me. So this is what my hands look like. So very hydrating. It does look, you know, initially a little greasy, but for me, I like that because the skin on my body can get excessively dry, like really, really dry. So I prefer for my moisturizers to make things look more hydrated because my skin is just quite dry. Um, but what I do like about this oil, so let's say I put this oil on and then I go and like start moving around. By the time I go to put my clothes on, it has absorbed into the skin. So I'm not like making oil stains on my shirt and my pants and so forth. So it does absorb into the skin and my skin does feel quite nice and hydrated. Like I really have been enjoying this. I do have a discount code with Dime because I have purchased so many of their products. They reached out and they're like, do you want an affiliate code? I was like, sure. Yes, thanks. Um, so I'll leave that down below. It's Chelsea E20 and you will be able to get 20% off on anything on their website. So if you're interested in the glaze, you're interested in their skincare products, their fragrance, the code will apply. It is an affiliate code, so I do make a small commission if, if uh, you do purchase from them. But I highly recommend the brand. There's been, there's only a few products from them I've never tried. So if there's a product that you're interested in and you kind of want my feedback on it, just leave a comment down below and I'll let you know my thoughts. But for the most part, I genuinely love everything about them. Another product from Dime that I purchased this a while ago and didn't really use it too much and I've, I've been using it religiously the past month is their luminous eye serum so this one is going to be formulated with cucumbers and peptide and it's a it's a luminous eye cream but it's not a greasy eye cream which i do like so now y'all probably y'all may not be able to see it um because my hands are kind of greasy but this is what the product looks like and i'll take just that amount um, and that's probably enough for both of my eyes. And okay, let me put it down here. The skin right here is not as hydrated as the skin above, just so you can see what it looks like. Um, I tap my eye cream in instead of swiping, 
but hopefully you can see the more hydrated look that this part of my skin looks like. It absorbs really nicely into the area under my eye and I feel like it helps to kind of lift and plump the under eye area a little bit, kind of smooth out those fine lines and wrinkles. And I've really, really have been enjoying it. Just to give you context, my absolute favorite eye cream is by La Mer, the Eye Concentrate. That is like still number one. Like I love this eye cream, highly recommend it. But like my La Mer is like my eye cream of choice. I've had this La Mer eye cream still sitting in a box for a couple months and I've been really enjoying it. So I was happy that I picked this one up again because it really, really is great. And I think, I think the eye cream is like $38. So with that 20% off, you're able to get it for, you know, almost $30 or maybe a little bit less. And it's, it's great, highly recommend it. So like I said, I highly recommend anything from Dime Beauty. And if you have questions about the brand, just leave them down below. All right, um, let's get on to some color products. So not too much came out in January that I felt was worthy to talk about, but there was one new product that came out uh, late December and I was like, this has been great. These Rare Beauty Under Eye Enhancers. Ma'am, they are great. So I went out of town a couple of times in January and some of the products that I'm sharing with you were the products that I brought with me. And I am a sole believer, if you travel with some products, there's some good products. So the first shade that I purchased was medium tan. I did do a review of this. I think I did a review. I either did a review or a short of the Rare Beauty Concealer. Really, really love it. It's an enhancer. So I said concealer, it's technically not a concealer. It's an under eye brightener and enhancer. So what I like to do is literally put four dots right along here. I'm not wearing it today, so sorry about that. Um, but four dots under the eye, and then I will either use my finger or I will go in with a brush and then tap it out to blend. I don't swipe, I tap, because this actually does provide some de decent coverage. So if you tap, and not swipe, then you can at least kind of preserve as much coverage as possible. And this is going to really brighten the under eye. I really have been enjoying it for those, you know, no makeup makeup looks or like light makeup looks. So this is the shade Medium Tan. This was the first shade that I purchased. This one definitely matches more of my complexion and I will just blend it out for you so you can see what this looks blended out. I can't really see, here we go. So, and you can see this kind of blends right into my skin. So once I used it, I was like, okay, I am seeing that like brightening effect, but I was like, I want something that's lighter. So I picked up the shade medium. Yes, medium. And medium is definitely a shade I would recommend if you have similar, a similar complexion to me. Um, I don't honestly use medium tan anymore unless I'm going, like unless I just have no makeup on and I just kind of want to lift my under eyes. So this is what the shade medium looks like and then I'll blend that out for you. So medium is definitely not going to be too stark under my eyes. I still get that brightened effect and it's just stunning. It doesn't crease under the eyes, which really shocks me because this formula does seem like it's more emollient. So my assumption is that it would crease or wouldn't last, but it's actually very, very long lasting for the very thin formula. And like I said, it does increase. So a lot of times when I wear that, I don't set it with powder. I just blend it in and like keep it going. So I have truly been enjoying these. These are like amazing, highly recommend them. Okay, quickly, quickly, the beginning of January, I was like head over heels, still in love with the Makeup by Mario Ethereal not ethereal foundation, what was this one called? Surreal Skin Foundation. Still really love this, but toward the end of January, I was reaching for something else in terms of complexion, but this is, oh, still love this foundation, highly recommend it. I wear the shade 17N, but I do think I wanna pick up a deeper shade because 17N I think is like a really good winter shade for me, but I can see once I get a little bit of tan, this is probably gonna be a bit too light but highly recommend it. I love that it is quite luminous, not too dewy on the skin at all. It still has more of like a beautiful satin natural finish. If you do have oilier skin, 
you might not like it because it is going to leave a lot of luminosity that could translate as dewy on someone who has more oily skin. If you have more normal to dry, maybe combination to normal skin, I definitely see you enjoying this foundation. Um, and then I would say if you have combination to oily skin, you wanna give it a try. Once again, I always say this because it is it is very important. Go in with your mattifying primers, set with your powders um, so that you can at least try to give it a chance, you know, um, prep your skin the way you like to prep your skin and then go with, go in with the foundation. But I truly love it. Still reach for it. I think it's amazing. But there was just another product that stole my heart, like the latter half of January. I'll talk about that um, in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to kind of go in order that I do my makeup to round out these products. All right, so I was watching Danessa Myrick. She did a master class for her angels and it was all on like glowy skin glowy skin and i was like give me all the tips okay so i saw her using her illuminating veil and i remember when i first found danessa i remember being like her model skin literally looks like a light bulb like it was glowing so much and i remember seeing this product and i was like all right i gotta try this product so her illuminating veil is not like your standard liquid highlighters because number one this the consistency of it is a little more thick so i'll do a quick swatch of this one and like all her products a little bit goes a long way but what i like about her products is that you really can use them to sculpt the face these liquid highlighters once they set they do not budge at all and they are going to shine through your foundation which when I use them, that's what I want. So if I'm going for more of like a subtle highlight look, kind of a lit from within look, but just I want a little bit more than lit from within, then these are the products that I'm gonna go with. You can control the shine from them by just the amount of product that you use. So this is the shade rating as this is a mini size. This is what the full size of the product looks like just to give you context. And let's see, you get 0.35 fluid ounces in the mini size and you get 1.06 1.06 fluid ounces in the full size. So here we have the shade Radiance. Let me blend this out a little bit. And so this is what it looks like. And so what I what I've been doing pretty much this whole month is I will start out with her beauty oil because I love how it hydrates my skin. It's a dry oil, so it really absorbs pretty quickly. And because it's a dry oil, it can be used for any skin type, uh, oily all the way to dry. Then I will go in with one of these um, illuminating veils. So I'll go in with either Radiance if I want more of like a bronze to look, um, or if I want it to be more like champagne-y, then I'll go in with Luna. So here is Luna right here. So these are the two shades right here and they are stunning. So I will apply them right along here, like on this area. And sometimes I'll bring it in like kind of under the eye, right? And then I'll apply some um, across in between my brows, just a little here and then a little right here. And so like I already have like sculpted and highlighted effect before I put my complexion products on. Okay, so after that, you can look at these two up close. Luna does have like more of like a metallic shimmery effect. Radiance looks just a little bit more smoother in its texture, but both of them feel smooth. Like I, neither one feels like there's like metallic particles in them. Um, so just wanted to point that out. So then after that, the complexion product that I've been obsessed over and using nonstop the latter half of January is going to be Danessa Myrick's Color Fix. Okay, so Color Fix, she's known for Color Fix. I think, you know, if you've heard of her brand, then you've heard of Color Fix. And I, I just, I love Color Fix. So I have a lot. If you've heard me, you've heard me say this before, I have them on a mission to collect them all. So I have all of her Color Fix nudes. So these are 10 shades of her nudes. So nudes one through nudes 10. And then here is, oh, oh goodness. Okay, here is shades 11 and 12. And I'll just quickly show you <laughs> all of the Color Fixes that I have. I'm not gonna go through each one of them, but there were a couple of these that I used 
over and over again in January. So I do want to highlight those. So I have these. I have one, at least one or two color fixes from every formula that she has. And these are the remaining ones that I have. These liquid glaze, I mean, these um color fix glazes, they don't fit as easily into these little slots. So that's why they're kind of hanging out that way. But anywho, so... For my complexion, I have been going in with Nude 5, Nude 4, Nude 8. So I'll quickly swatch these because if you're around my complexion or you're trying to gauge like, I wanna try a color fix nude, this hopefully will help you. Just to give you a quick summary, her color fix nude, she did create them inspired by actual complexion. So um, if you can find a shade that is similar to your complexion, it would be great. So here is Nude 4. So I use Nude 4 as my under eye concealer. As you can see, Nude 4 has a little bit of a salmon type of undertone. So it worked well to um, for my under eye area because it added, it had more of like a brightening effect under my eyes. Nude 5 is what I use for all over my face. And Nude 5 is like OG color fix for me. It's probably one of my I think it was the first color fix nude that I purchased. So here is nude five. So nude four is right here. Nude five I use all over the face. And then nude eight was my go-to for this month for bronzer contour. Nude eight has more of a neutral undertone. So it worked really well for a nice bronzer contour. So here is nude eight. I love, I love them all. And I have, for the most part, I have used every color fix nude except for nude one and two. And I will just, I, I need to figure out how I want to use them. Probably on the eyes, but oh my gosh, these color fix nudes, oh my gosh. So, so with color fix, because they do dry down in a more matte formula, using her beauty oil and then going in with these liquid highlighters, really help to make the color fix not look matte and like too drying on the skin. Cause I've tried color fix nudes on the face and because I didn't prep my skin as well as I should have, it's kind of taken on that more mattified, almost like flat and matte type of look. And personally, I didn't like it. So I would say you can use color fix no matter what skin type you have. You just have to prep your skin accordingly. So if you have really dry skin, like prep the mess out of your skin and hydrate it exactly the way that it needs to be. And you can adjust the formula of color fix to where it still looks really great on the skin, but it's still gonna have that lasting power. Once these set and dry down, they do not budge. And in all honesty, in my makeup artistry kit, I use color fix a lot for my clients' bases, especially if like I need to make shades because they last all day. They're so bulletproof and they're amazing. Um, another shade of color fix that I really enjoyed this month is this shade Valentine. So I went out of town recently and I really enjoyed mixing Valentine. This is a matte hot pink shade with a neon color fix in the shade Bubblegum. Mixing these two together, let, let me show you. So Valentine, I mean, perfect pinky Valentine shade. So this is the shade Valentine right here. Let me just bring that down here so y'all can see. Sorry I didn't do this swatch right. And then here is Bubblegum, the neon pink. Bubblegum, Bubblegum can look a little scary. You know, if you're just kind of looking at it, you're like, um, how am I supposed to use that? So can y'all see that here? Yeah, here we go. So I love Bubblegum, but if you mix the two together, look at this. Look at that shade, these two shades mixed together. So I'll insert a picture showing you all um, a look that I did with full face of Color Fix and I use Color Fix for, like I said, concealer, bronzer, foundation, blush, and highlight. My go-to highlight, so Vivian, she is one of Danessa's employees. She's also an angel. She suggested using the shade um, Ballerina. This is a Color Fix Cream. Yes, Color Fix Cream as a highlight. And I was like, I would have never thought to use that. So let me swatch it right here. 
this shade oh my gosh look look at that right here divine and putting this on top after you've already put this as a base you ain't got to tell me nothing i knew i look good so these have been the color fix shades that i've been going and using i would say from like mid january toward the end of january and um, anytime you've seen my base, like in pictures, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should follow me on Instagram, we, let me tell you what we're doing on Instagram. I'll talk about that at the hey end. Hey guys, I forgot to mention this at the end of the video, but I definitely wanted you to know what's going on on Instagram. So every day of February, I am highlighting a black owned brand and I'm so excited about this because I'm like so many products that are made by black owners that a lot of times we just don't know about. So a lot of them will be black owned beauty brands, but I'm not limiting myself to just beauty brands. So, so head on over to Instagram and if you're not following me I do encourage you to follow me because you'll hopefully find out about more brands that you weren't aware of maybe you'll find some products that you're interested in and that you might want to check out and I'm so excited I'll be sharing at least one black owned brand a day possibly more than one because I've been getting a lot of uh, feedback from you guys of black owned brands that you really enjoy so definitely wanted to let you know that that's going on whole month of February I'll still be talking about mainstream makeup as well but just making sure to highlight those from black owned brands you need to be following me on Instagram because we'd be doing a lot of great stuff over there but um if you've been following me there and you've been seeing my face it's honestly been different variations of color fix um but my base has been nude four nude five and then some other variation of color fix so that's been what i've been loving and rocking on the eyes i've been keeping it really simple so i'll either use just one of the nude color fix shades on the eyes maybe smoke it out a bit and be done with it i've just been keeping it quite simple but like just still very like clean simple polished makeup that's kind of been the theme for this month and then like i'll add a little bit of drama with the lips Okay, a couple other things that I want to point out and then y'all we done. We have a couple more lip products, like actual lip products. So Dior, I, uh, when I decluttered my lip products, because <laughs> I had a lot. When I decluttered my lip pop products, I found that I had a Dior lip glow oil and I was like, I forgot I bought this. I have really been enjoying this. This is such a great lip oil. So. A lot of times with lip oils, I find that they can be too thin and they absorb too quick into the lips. And then it's like, did I even put anything on? So this one is quite thick. I'll, I'll put a little on. I feel like I put a little on. So it has like a nice thicker texture that actually stays on the lips. It does absorb into the lips where I feel like my lips are getting a treatment, but it doesn't evaporate so quickly that I'm like, now what, why did I do that? So I've been really enjoying this. I can see myself purchasing this again because it, it's really great. This one lives in my purse. And then this one is the Dior Lip Maximizer. It's the Dior Attic Lip Maximizer. This is in the shade Pearl. And this one, I'll just put it up here. Hopefully you can see a little bit of like that iridescent look to it. This one I've been enjoying because, and I purchased it because it has a slight, very, very, very slight plumping effect that will help to kind of just smooth out those fine lines and wrinkles on your lips, also while hydrating the lips. So this one I've been keeping in my vanity and when I sit down, I'll put this on and it just feels really, really good. Doesn't ever irritate my lips. Um, and that plumping effect is so minimal. If anything, it just feels more minty versus plumping. So I really have been enjoying those products and I would highly recommend them. I I initially was like, were these worth the dollar? And I, I would say, yeah, I would say, yeah. Okay, lastly, fragrance and then we're done. So I got word that Parfums de Marley came out with a new fragrance, Valia. And I already did a review on this fragrance. So I'll go ahead and link that for you. She's stunning. She's so fresh, fruity, and floral. Those are the three words that I love to use to describe this fragrance. I don't remember the notes off the top of my head, but it's it's like, it, this is definitely signature scent worthy. It's light, it's airy, 
it's definitely there but it's not overwhelming like i mentioned in my video i would wear this on a plane because i wouldn't feel like i was like too much for the person sitting next to me but it still has a very unique scent i don't smell this and go like oh this reminds me of this like it's quite unique in my opinion it has a, a pretty good lasting power i would say that this fragrance does last all day like i can smell it in my clothes the next day but it's also one of those fragrances that you're not going to ne necessarily smell it on yourself all day so you know i'll put it on i can smell it on myself for a few hours and then a few hours later i really don't smell it on myself but if i like you know kind of wave my hand then i smell it or at the end of the day i take my shirt off and i'm like oh yeah it's still in my clothes so like i said a subtle but present scent really have been enjoying this and when i purchased balia Parfums de Marley was um they sent out some deluxe samples of Delina and Delina La Rose and then the hand cream and the body gel so I fell in love with the hand cream <laughs> I immediately got the full size of the hand cream I love this it's so hydrating smells just like the fragrance which I was really happy about and it's also quite creamy so this is what the actual body cream looks like I'm debating on getting the hand cream because I love the fragrance so much in this cream and this and the cream is actually quite hydrating as well so I'm just about done with the smaller size this is the shower gel the shower gel is okay I, I don't see myself purchasing the shower gel but the body cream sample I got is this size and I have it in my purse and now I'm like I think I'm gonna get the hand cream because I just really love the scent and I love the texture of the body cream. Um, so I'm debating on getting the hand cream, but the body cream, completely sold on that. And then lastly, oh no, I got one more fragrance to talk about. So I had to purchase Delina, finally. I feel like I'm the last person to purchase this fragrance. This is the one ounce size and I, I, I just chuckle at this size. I'm like, this is so itty bitty. Um, if when I run out of the small of uh, out of this size, I will purchase the larger size, but I'm okay with this because I don't run through fragrances a lot. Delena is beautiful. Like I, I completely understand why people love it while people, you know, rave about it. It's beautiful. So I do want to get Delena exclusive. I do want to get that one. I got a sample of that and I, I think that smells amazing. And La Rose, I do want to get it but it doesn't last long. Um, so that will probably be like one of those fragrances that I just, you know, when I have an extra $350 to spend, I'll buy that one. <laughs> Y'all, yeah, I'm literally just joking. Um, but that, that would be one that I will want, but I'm not gonna like, you know, rushed out to get that one solely because it just doesn't last as long but i love the scent of it and then the last fragrance that has been like signature scent for me like i've been wearing this fragrance almost every day in january burberry her now if you would have asked me 2020 chelsea do you like burberry her i'd have been like absolutely not i actually asked for it for christmas i think it was christmas of 2020 and i was like ooh. Sean, I don't like this. I don't like it at all. So I took it back because it just, I couldn't, I couldn't with it. And it might have been because I was pregnant. So I don't know. And recently, I saw somebody raving about it and somebody else was raving about it. And I was like, you know, maybe I should give Burberry her another chance because, you know, your nasal preferences do change roughly every nine months. So I was like, let me give it a try. Oh, I'm so here for Burberry her. Oh my goodness me. This smells so divine. And I love mixing it with Delina. I love mixing it with Valia. This has been living in my purse. I'm for sure gonna be getting the larger size because like, I love it. It's like just the right amount of sweet. I like that it lasts on my skin and that I can still smell it. Like I can still smell it after a few hours. Cause I like to smell myself, you know, like I don't want to be, I don't want to have this mysterious fragrance that you can smell, but I can't, well, I want to smell it too. I bought it for myself. So I really, really have been enjoying Burberry Her. Like this has been my signature scent of January and I think it's amazing.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave down in the comment section below what your favorite products were from the month of January. I would love to hear about them. And if you made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.